<laughs> Everybody out there in YouTube land. Oh, there's some spookies. Jake of the One Man Band is back again. You see, that's me right up there. And this is Call of Cthulhu. Now, I know that the Halloween season is over. And this is probably a scary game that was that probably should be played around that time. But I got it during the Halloween Steam sale. And it was a game that I was very interested in and always wanted to play. So we're going to go through that together. And I'm also trying out something new. I'm doing it without a face cam this time. So let me know if you prefer the face cam, if you prefer it to just be my voice. But without further ado, let us journey into Call of Cthulhu. New game. Go right there. Alrighty. Chapter 1. Pierce Investigation Agency, Boston, Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, the Great War, thank you very much, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his troper. Tro trooper? Troper. I'm pretty sure it's troper. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. I'm gonna lose my license if I don't find a new case. He's like Shao Tucker from freaking Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Not a good guy. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his uh, callousness can remain sane until the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. Oh! Well, we're starting. Oh, man. Well, there's water right there. Wipe it off, man. We are starting right off. Great white shark. Okay, well. I mean, we got sea creatures and just blood and guts. And this is not a good place. It probably smells horrendous. The game has been saved. Well, how about this case? The case of figuring out what the F that was all about and all that. But I've always been a big fan of Lovecraft and, like, uh, cosmic horror because it's, like, so crazy and so weird. And so, fish bones. I'm learning to walk around. Now, what I've heard about this game, it's not very, like, action oriented. It's going to be a lot of stealthy, a lot of crouch. Oh. Oh. That's good. That's going to make some people sick. I can already tell. Um. No curses. It's only a chain. If only I had superhuman strength and I could break it. Okay. Let's so crouch in here. Man, this fog is really not doing it for me. Oh, is that another unbreakable chain? We need to find some chain, some bolt cutters or something. Counter darkness. You must light up the environment to enable to interact with certain things. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, we probably can't, like, see everything that's around us, so... Ooh. Ooh, that light mechanic, though. That's actually pretty good. Okay, we got some strange markings on these boxes. What? Whoa, what was that? What the F was that, guys? Maybe I shouldn't be on this thing. But it's like, I like... I like, make it brighter. Burn bright! It's like, um... The Alan Wake flashlight mechanic, if you like, concentrate on like, pointing it at a creature the light gets, like, brighter. That way you can burn the darkness away. That's another game I absolutely love, is Alan Wake. Ooh, there they are! Bolt cutters! Alrighty, now, it probably wants us to cut those, but we gonna go back and cut the other ones. Why? Because I love exploring, that's why. And you better believe that I'm going to, like, read every single thing that we come across. Alrighty. 
fate inescapably draws you on. So is that Cthulhu? In which this uh, game is called? Or is that another one of the uh, the great old ones? Nero Lethrotep, that you? Buddy? Or maybe it's Haster. I've always had, like, uh, just... I wouldn't say love, but a, um... I've always been interested in ha in Haster. And, like, who Haster is? He's kind of... He's this other great old one. Yeah, I agree. Look at all this. It's all gross. Ew, it's all flies and... Is that an orca? Yeah, it's an orca. Free Willy, no! But, um... Haster's kind of like a, um... Him and Cthulhu don't get along, so... You know... Just, just one of those things. So, don't fight. Don't fight. You have been chosen. I've been chosen. So hold. So hold forward to run. Or is it just like sprint? Because like I'm holding shift and I'm sprinting. So. Okay. So he. Oh, behold. Okay. Whoa, these guys, you're missing some eyes! Or maybe it's like. Oh, he's got he's got tentacle arms! Oh, okay. Hello, Mr. No, please! Oh, well, it's okay. It was just a dream. But that's how all of it. I hate whiskey, but I drink it all the time. Consult diary. All right. The PS Investigations Agency, my private detective agency, contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency after the Great War. See, there we go. Refer to it as the Great War. World War One wasn't a concept until World War Two happened. There's a little bit of history for you. But after the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston, where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances are not act that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed, and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles. But this place is mine for the moment, just for the moment. So dark water. I guess is a place that we're gonna end up going, but pierced. So this is us. And I guess we have a bunch of all these different things. Okay. So there's gonna be like, okay, gotta build ourselves up, but I guess we'll learn about that. Okay. Ooh. I wonder why I still Sleeping take pills. these things. <laughs> well, I mean, they're supposed to conk you out, but obviously you're still having dreams, so... The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares. For a while now, their effect has been wearing off. But it's because you're taking too many, bro! A little blue bottle. It's so strange, but... Oh! I got, I got, I got some sleeping pills. I used to be an avid reader. But not anymore, ever since the nightmares. I can only hope that it's like... It's kind of melodramatic, like every like everything in this um in this game, because like if you read H.P. Lovecraft stuff, it's very kind of melodramatic. Doesn't attract top-notch cases. But you know, it's it's still it's still a job. But like his writing style was kind of very melodramatic, just like oh woe is me. Uh, have a drink or don't drink. Um. Let's not drink right now. Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. He almost sounds like Liam Neeson. Uh, let's see. Uh, the 20th of October, 1924. Pierce Investigation Agency. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. S uh, despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, and they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling to me? Oh, I don't know. 
probably Cthulhu. That's what the, that's what the game is called, this. Now, by the sounds of it, it almost sounds as though the doctor has said that he doesn't need his sleeping pills anymore. Because he said the remedy, he didn't need it. Let's just turn, turn that off, thank you very much. Ooh, we saved the game by turning off the stuff. Okay, not Natural right now. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Ah, all the kinds of stuff that a guy in a Lovecraftian horror I would get need. Rid of all this stuff. I don't need it. You can wait, okay? I'm exploring my office. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Ooh, I guess I solved this case. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot you can do against a private detective who got proof against you. Aw, oh, yeah, that's right. Well, I, I am picking up a lot of stuff. Married woman runs off Let's with see. her girlfriend. Husband couldn't understand it. Oh, the husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Well, I guess she just wanted something I had more business than this. here to attend to. Okay, fine. I guess I'll answer the phone. Yo. I'm listening. What up? Are you Edward Pierce? Private mm -hmm. investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That That's is definitely correct. me. Hello, Mr. Hello. I'm Lucy Sheriffield. Hello, Lucy. Over at Wentworth. I'm calling oh, because of a you're in charge? A fire. A fire. Destroyed some of our documents. Oh. Is that right? Great. I'm so That's very not good. sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve a skill. Okay. Eloquence, strength, medicine, occultism, psychology, spot hidden, and investigation. And it looks like we have eight CP points available. So, I don't know about you, but I almost want to build him kind of off of myself. Uh, I would say psychology... I mean, because I, I feel like I, I can understand people pretty well. Spot hidden. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of an observant little bugger sometimes. Occultism. No, I'm not really. Uh, the origin of occult artifacts. Well, okay. Well, that that's kind of like history. So that's that's very much me. It's very much me. But um, yeah, that's we'll go with that. Character create. Do you really want to validate? Yes. Hey, this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files. Alrighty, you're welcome. On a related matter, mm -hmm. may I raise a sensitive question? Uh, I What's don't wrong? know. As what? you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contract. The progress. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Now uh, look, work been is scarce. Yeah, I've been Mr. busy. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. Well, but are those cases worth it? Oh. There would not losing your license. I'm looking for something more. Okay. And we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still Shut up. I do what I want. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, this is also how it begins. And then the dame walks in. Only it's some old guy. No, you're supposed to be a Since dame! I came here Get out of here. Of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I Stephen expected Webster. anything but a drunkard's lair. That fan's gonna You're cut free to something. leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you <clears throat> speak? Um, Stephen Webster, some... industrialist oh. and art collector. All of Boston knows you. Yeah, I'm Tell a private investigator, Pierce, boy. Are you I know stuff. Of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, you don't use big words on me, son. Punch Nobody you. You're in my me. place. They take me for an old fool. Are Sarah, you? Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you um, must know. I'm sorry. She was Sarah Hawkins. Sarah the Hawking. Painter. Oh. Yes. Everyone knows her work. I got a few pieces in here. Killing Maybe. Her family. They all died in a fire. A Sarah, fi her fire? husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman. I'm sorry, man. That, that, that's really terrible. The truth. 
They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. Well, I don't she know. She would never have done such a thing. People go mad all but the time. I have dude. no proof. I've brought all that I have. Look. Right, I want you to show look me the, uh, carefully at this painting. The scary painting. All right. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Well, that's a guy with the tentacle arms. From my dream. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Look, okay, the thing about or madness, contrary, madness and, like, detect some genius are kind of on the same line, so... It. It's hard to is determine what's mad and what's, like, art. Yes, please. It's all a matter of perspective. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The pen? Okay, let's I placed a this. file on your desk. It contains oh. everything I have on the affair. Well, when did you do that? Dude. A warehouse on Dark. Alrighty. Some sketches of the Hawkins he almost family. Look, he almost looks like me. Rather thin. Okay, let's see. Um, a shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36, Dark Water. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole f uh, family. Pardon me. The police decide... Uh, on a domestic accident, but they nonetheless insist on Sarah Hawking's mental frailty. Why? Yeah, that is a that is a very good question. A press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a reclusive life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. So, they lived on an island by themselves, okay. A strange paint picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a sh short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the article artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so that I can examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case, named after his daughter who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents he come um, piled in order so I know more about the case. All right, I've already done that. Now, let's look at your painting. Hello, painting. Let's investigate. Oh, I have to hold it down. On the man's chest. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Hmm. So, Mr. That's supposed to be the, the, what do you the make symbol of Haster? The yellow Balance. sign? Hmm, let's see. You shouldn't take the painting lightly. Oh, that's an unlocked answer. Maybe because of my occult skill was so good? Find out about uh, House 36. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Well, we know where she lived. She lived on dark water. Something is not right with this story. I read about her mental frailty. Okay, let's, meaning... let's do that could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what, what I believe, too. What kind of message, sir? It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And Alrighty. yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is hmm. linked to this case, can't you see? Well, the mail you could just be slow. That happens case. sometimes. Alrighty, let's, um... Darkwater. Maybe we can find out more about Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? Yeah, where is it's a this small place? remote island off the coast of Boston. It's almost Sarah as lived if there with I should know about it for living in Boston. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must go you must there. Cover it. You must. I'm d well, what are you paying me first off, okay? Okay, I read about You must tell me frailty. If what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had Visions. Everyone knew that. So she was kind she of never like heard a a fly. sensitive. She only thought she saw things. Well, what saw if she things. was seeing things, my good Me sir? Neither. Did you ever think about I that? I never knew what she meant by that. Okay. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mister Pierce. Okay. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Because it's my job, not yours. Okay. Something's investigation professional. Okay. Her Let's husband that. was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was frightening. Yeah, things are kind of right, fishy right there. This case is not as simple as it appears. 
I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Well, obviously. That's why there's a game about it, my good man. So let's find out about Warehouse 36. The sender's 36. label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think oh. your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. I mean, don't you want to come with me? This is your daughter, man. I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking. Okay. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Okay, let's, let's sum things up. Let's talk about An payment. Artist dies with her family in a house fire. Yes. Your only clue is a sort of premontory painting. Sent That's a good word, right premontory. That's a very good Correct. word. I need to and the rumors use that word. Supposed folly, which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth right. regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You will be handsomely compensated. Uh, thank All you. Right. And there we go. Place. There's the there's the magic go to words. And look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. You're welcome. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. What what's Something that supposed clear. to mean? But it's not like I have a choice. Yeah, things are a little bit fishy. I will. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. All I'll right. no doubt find some information on this island in there. Okay. Um. Well. Let's see. Uh, all that remains is to leave for dark water. I. I. I'll certainly find something about dark water on in my bookcase. Alrighty, so let's go to the bookcase. I got quite a few bookcases. Let's look at this. Learning of medicine. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known to the civilized world. It details the symptoms and suitable treatments. Strange like I know it said that he was a reader, but it's strange that he just has a, a, a medical tome, a medical book. Oh, okay, well, I got it. Let's, uh... Oh! Oh, it helped me learn more about medicine! Okay, so it's practical. Okay, I was gonna be like, well, maybe he was, like, a medic when during the Great War? I used to be an avid reader. Okay, so, obviously, it's not there. Let's check the other bookshelf. Dark water is off the coast oh, of Boston. Oh, here we go. Okay. But I've never heard of it. According Strange. to this Strange! It was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end Ooh, of the 19th century. The whale hunting. Okay. But it seems to have been shown Moby since Dick. Then. Moby. Okay, Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with many memories left by the lo its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of its moving uh, evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, uh, the sons and daughters of the proud well hunters, still remember the mysteries and tumulti tumultuous stories of their small island off the coasts of Manhattan. Well, uh, a uh, dream or sea god really points it to Cthulhu himself, and I'm not saying that like. Oh, All I, I have I to do is go there. to the port. Okay. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. No, well, let's hope. But I know that the game is called Call of Cthulhu, but I was actually kind of hoping that like it would be more than just Cthulhu. The oh. Lost Battalion. Oh! Holding your position and obeying orders. Dang! That is courage. He was part of the Lost Battalion. Well, that kind of that kind of gives more credence to why he's just so messed up. Um, to anyone who doesn't know, the Lost Battalion was an American unit that actually pushed a little bit too far into the German lines and ended up getting surrounded. And uh, it's actually a very amazing story of just you know courage and all that stuff. Okay. Let us leave and let's head to Darkwater. Chapter 2, Darkwater Port. Pierce took the Hawking's case. The cursed uh, artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. 
on the, the shipping label and address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Ooh. Oh, look at the whale bones. You would think that somebody would clean those up. I mean, they're just kind of just sitting out there. You can use whale bones for stuff. Like, practical stuff, rather than just, like, we're gonna make, uh, island incredibly creepy, so let's just set whale bones out. Let's enter the madness. Well, actually, I think I'm going to, um, call the first episode here. So, uh, let me know if you guys, uh, think the, um, just the voiceover is fine, or if you would like a, um, uh, the web camera, just let me know. And until next time, everyone, I want you to be a good person. Tip your waitresses. Keep moving forward. I'll see you guys next time I'm out there on YouTube land. I'll see you then. Yay!